officially smashed the 30k price uh, price level now I'm not making this video to say I told you so but of course I did tell you so now why are we before I actually get into this video because some of you may or may not watch um, the whole thing so just start just to start off with why am I why have I been buying uh, Bitcoin religiously um, for years now? The reason why is because I believe in this project. You know, I believe that this is going to work. Cryptocurrency is going to be a thing of the future. You know, just like the internet, nobody understood how the internet works. Not many of you actually understand how the internet works, but you still use the internet. You still benefit from the internet. Bitcoin is the first digital currency of the internet. You know, Bitcoin, whether you like it or not, I, you know, I'm not going to say the store of value just yet, even though, you know, that's what a lot of people are saying now. I'm not going to, you know, get into that conversation just yet. But it looks like it could be a major store of value. And not only that. The market cap, I still believe, is still very, very small when you compare it, you know, to other industries at the moment. You know, the market cap is market cap is very small and still has a lot of room for growth and all in all i honestly do believe in this project which is why i haven't sold one bitcoin uh, since i've been buying it. i've only accumulated bitcoin i haven't sold any right so um, that's how much i believe in this project so we said uh, we said earlier last year that we're probably going to see bitcoin hit number one we said twenty thousand before the end of twenty. 20 uh, we hit the 20,000 mark and I said okay we're gonna see price hit at least 28,000 uh, before the end of the year and then of course we did hit that target as well so all the predictions so far have been correct now what I find interesting is a lot of people you know have this weird sort of mentality where let's say Bitcoin moves a hundred percent and pulls back ten percent they start going wild Bitcoin's crashing. I told you Bitcoin was going to crash. But let's just measure. So let's just say 20,000. Let's start off with 20,000 to where price is now. So 20,000. Okay, let's say 56%. You know what? Let's just call it 50%, you know, just so you can follow the math. So let's say we're up 50% from 20,000 to where we are now. Now, I've said in many videos and also in many of our comment sections that do not be surprised expect bitcoin to pull back 10 even 30 percent at times right it's a very volatile you know asset class at the moment and it's very speculative and that's one thing that you have to have in mind when you're looking at this particular space is highly speculative now price has moved let's say 50 percent now, let's say we see a pullback on Bitcoin, right? So I get the question, oh, is Bitcoin, it looks like it's going to crash. Is it going to crash? Okay, let's say Bitcoin goes all the way back down to 25,000 from where it is now. That's an 18% move. So all in all, if you bought even at 20,000, you're still going to be up over 20%. You know, and this is what people are not, you know, it's like you're not thinking about it. You know, you can keep saying Bitcoin's going to crash, Bitcoin's going to fail, Bitcoin's going to do this. But if you're selling against Bitcoin at the moment, you're losing money. You know, if you don't believe in Bitcoin, it would make more sense to actually just just step aside and just watch and see what happens. But betting against Bitcoin now is it's not wise. Right. And to be honest with you, even if Bitcoin pulls back all the way back down to 15,000. I'm still laughing. I'm still in profit. Even if Bitcoin pulls all the way back down to 8,000, I'm still laughing. I'm still in profit. So for me, obviously, I'm fortunate enough to be in this industry quite early. So we've gotten a really good price. But I want Bitcoin to crash because I want to buy more at a cheaper price. Now, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. To be honest with you, if Bitcoin does pull back, I believe the next pull, pullback target, I think we, we are going to see a pullback soon just because of, you know, the, the move. We've pretty much moved in a straight line. And as I always say, the market does have to correct itself at some point. So are we going to find a new support area? Where is that support area going to be? Personally, I think 
no less than 22,000 uh, anymore. I don't think we're going to see Bitcoin fall below uh, 20, 22,000 uh, again, um, at least not this year. So super bullish on Bitcoin this year and for uh, the decade, actually, I think Bitcoin itself will be one of the best performing assets uh, of this decade, uh, at, along with uh, Tesla stock. Now, with that being said, Bitcoin is Bitcoin, but in our VLC network, in our community, we're already in other cryptocurrency that are gonna produce higher returns than Bitcoin itself. Um, so as a novice, a lot of you are completely new to the market, so all you see is Bitcoin. And you may feel like, you know, I've missed the move, I've missed the opportunity, but there's a lot of potential in this space at the moment if you can identify the right projects and get in early. Um, now, if you wanna discuss more about that, feel free to send me a message because we are gonna be opening up 20 more spaces for that VLC network and you're gonna be able to have a deeper insight into the stocks that we're looking at, our cryptocurrencies that we're looking at, and also, you know, further breakdowns on our FX uh, pairs and weekly webinars. So if you're interested in that and you really, really want to grow uh, this year, that is something that you definitely want to message me about. Um, but yeah, a lot of opportunity in this space at the moment. And I will end by saying, betting against entrepreneurs and technology that are changing the world, that are changing the way we think and, and, and do things, has always been unprofitable. It's never been a win. People that bet against, you know, revolutionary technologies and, and individuals always come out second best. These people never ever win. So if you don't believe in something, sometimes it's best you just step aside. You know, it's better than losing money. But I promise you, betting against Bitcoin is a race to the bottom.